Food Trends TV. I'm everyday innovator Dana McCauley. Today's trending topic is bone broth. Not sure what that is? You're probably not alone. Basically, bone broth is just another word for stock that's made from animal bones, and it's like the soup your mom used to make, but now it's being marketed as a healthy drink. What's interesting about bone broth is this is a case of everything old is new again. If you go back to the Edwardian society, you know, 1915-ish, you would have had people on the Titanic getting a bit of a chill on deck and drinking a steaming cup of what they called beef tea or consomme. Now we've got a whole new rage started because one chef in New York City who said, hey, you know what? I think I'm going to start selling brodo, which is the Italian word for bone broth. It's linked a little bit to a book that came out last year called Nourishing Broths, which went into the science behind why a really good quality stock is good for you. Turns out it contains glucosamine and lots of vitamins and obviously lean protein as opposed to you know eating a fatty piece of meat, which is very good for your joints and your heart and for giving you energy and hydration. So this man's capitalized on it and started this massive trend. You can open up a food section or a blog or you know even uh, you know read a tweet these days without hearing somebody talk about bone broth. So is bone broth going to be a long-term trend or is it a fad? I think it's a trend for a couple of reasons. One, anybody can make it. Two, it's delicious. Three, uh, it's portable. You can take it with you. And everyone wants protein and energy and it gives you all of that. So it's basically like an offshoot of the juicing trend, except it's meat-based. Thanks for tuning in. Before I go, I wanna ask you, how do you feel about bone broth? Will you swap a steaming cup of soup for your next uh, afternoon coffee? Give me your answer in the comment section below, and please subscribe to Food Trends TV. I'll see you next Monday. Thanks for tuning in.